Welcome to Kyoto, Japan, everybody. We are taking the day to explore Kyoto and some of the things that you can do here, some of the things you can eat here, and just kind of taking it all in. Honestly, we learned very quickly when planning this vlog, we cannot do everything. We won't even try. We are going to hit some of the most popular spots here in Kyoto. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So we're gonna start off this day with a little bit of bamboo. Is that good with you? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Pretty good rule of thumb if you're trying to find the bamboo forest here in Kyoto. Just follow the crowds from the train station. This is crazy covered in people. What do So the bamboo forest is really cool, but one thing to keep in mind is that you will not be the only one unless you come really early in the morning. We had read online that if you get here really early, you might have it all to yourself, but I'm talking like sunup, and currently sunup is like 4.30 because we're here in July. The forest is open 24 hours, so it does make it easy to get here in the morning. Contrary to what it says online though, it's less than a half a mile long. And it's also super, 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 super humid in there. Yeah. So bring some damp towels to patch yourself off and also some bug spray. Do I look like I just <laughs> went for a swim? Because I feel like it. I'm soaked. <laughs> you do. A lot of the things that we're doing today are pretty spread out throughout Kyoto, so we're gonna be relying on public transit and even might have to take a taxi or two before this day is over. But luckily, from the bamboo forest to our next stop is only about a 15 minute walk. And this is one of the most popular spaces that you can check out outside of the bamboo forest on this side of town. This bridge is called the Togetsukyo Bridge, and honestly, I feel like it's a really popular place to come and take pictures. We've seen a lot of people doing that. And it's also a popular crossing path, crossing way, to get to our next stop. Okay, so we're gonna pass on the Monkey Park. A, it's a little bit out of our price range. B, it's a 20 minute hike to get up to. C, it's very overcast today, so the views aren't as good as they would be if it was clear. D, it's really hot. And E, it's gonna take up a lot of time. That's actually a lot of reasons why I've justified not going. But if you're in Kyoto and you're over here checking out the bamboo grove and the bamboo forest, you might as well walk right across the bridge about 15 minutes and come over here and check it out. If you do that, then let us know how it is. It also closes at four o'clock, so make sure you get here before the sun starts to go down. The last peak to go up there is at 4.30. Just helpful tidbits for those of you that decide to go. <laughs> There you go. These little streams that are running along this side really remind me of this ramen shop that I was really wanting to go to, but unfortunately it's like 45 minutes outside the center of Kyoto, but you basically catch the ramen through this little bamboo shoot that's flooding with water. I'll put the name of it right here. But these little shoots, I'm like, where's the ramen? Where's the ramen, guys? This area of Kyoto is sneaky, sneaky pretty. Like there's crazy mountains in the background with little rivers running through the various little areas that we've walked through so far. It's really pretty, but we have to take the public transit to get to our next spot because like we said earlier, everything is super duper spread out. So it's gonna take us an hour, 45 minutes to walk there or a shorter amount of time on public transportation. So we're gonna use our Suica cards and get over there. All right, so we popped off the tram and we used our Suica cards. These Suica cards are good pretty much everywhere throughout Japan. We've seen them accepted at most places that we've been. And now we're making the 20-ish minute walk to arguably the most popular temple here in Kyoto. This is 
incredibly picturesque with how beautiful like the mountains are in the background and the nice little lake around here. Like this is without a doubt, I think the most beautiful that we've seen here in Kyoto. This is, this is beautiful. supposed to make a wish. It tells you what your fortune is for your wish. A missing thing, travel, business, a study, love. I it's like the got, idea of that. It's got all kinds of answers for me. We've said it a few times today, but Kyoto is not exactly a walking friendly city, so we had to jump on another form of public transportation. We took the city bus over to Philosopher's Path, which is like a beautiful, really picturesque walking path. We got to walk from the bus stop to get there, but we were able to use our sweet card and we found out, oh, we're walking up a hill. <laughs> if you don't have the physical card, you can also download it on your phone using your wallet app. And now I'm going to walk up this hill. Oh my goodness, it came out of nowhere. Whew. This is so pretty. You know what this reminds me of? Burton on the water. Yep, I was gonna say Cotswolds. It's like the Cotswolds of Japan. Or the Cotswolds are the philosopher's path oh. of England. But in America, they'd refer to this as the sorcerer's path. Harry Potter and the philosopher's stone in England. But in America, they chase it as the sorcerer's stone. That joke probably landed for some of you. popular places in Kyoto to kind of just wander around and kind of get lost and explore the streets, little side streets. It'd be better if the weather wasn't looking the way it was. It looks like it might come a flood a little bit, so we're going to try and get to our next place as fast as possible. I'm starting to hear thunder, so, oh, and that was a raindrop on my face. This video could get really interesting really fast. It's raining now. Well, we made it to the place that we were looking for here in Kyoto, but it's been a bit of a grind. a little bit and we have a few things that we can do inside so while we wait to make sure that the rain isn't gonna come back we're gonna grab some food check and see if the line is not too long because if it's too long and the rain comes while we're outside that defeats the whole purpose <laughs> so we're gonna see how long the line is and then we're gonna get some ramen I think Minbaka fire ramen uh, the fire ramen? Two single fire ramen. Two single fire ramen. Right off the bat, I'll just say it's not the cheapest ramen we've had since we've been in Japan, but I will say the hospitality is great. They've asked everybody where they're from. They're very chatty. The slogan is something I can definitely get behind. No ramen, no life. And we know who the boss is because he's got a name tag. One other thing to note, there are vegetarian and halal options, but you cannot customize without green onions. So we're going to see how Trey likes this. I'm still going to like it, I have a feeling. So 
But we didn't expect that, so and his phone is hanging about six feet off the ground. I hope it's secure. Looks like it could fall at any moment. I don't know, we'll see. I think it's about to get a little on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I am like shaking from that experience. I'm also shaking, believe it or not. <laughs> that was nuts. Was that what you expected? <laughs> was that as cool as you wanted it to be? It was really it's cool. As cool. Oh my god. You got me there? No eating. Open your mouth. Look up. Look up. Okay, good. No, 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 Japanese style, Japanese style. Oh. One noodle, one noodle, noodle, one, one noodle. noodle. Style. Okay, okay, okay. Put in, put in. It's okay, come on, come on, it's okay, very good. Okay, 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 very good. This is hilarious. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> Honestly, the ramen is really, really delicious as well. I read online that some people were like, oh, it's like kind of expensive for ramen, but I think that this is worth it for the experience. I mean, this was really fun. <laughs> There's so much more than just the taste of ramen. The taste of ramen is fantastic, but the experience also, it makes it worth the, I think it's like 1,350 yen each. It's worth it in my opinion. Oh this my is, gosh. we'll never get a ramen experience like this anywhere else. <laughs> As we expected, the rain has come back, so we are now booking it to the next stop and we'll kind of debrief there. We've left the street with the ramen and we had to jump on the bus really quick and then run basically to this next stop before the rain started coming in. And we're sticking to a theme of everything enclosed. So until the rain it stops at least, um, whenever that may be. So we're gonna explore the Nishiki Market, which is over 400 years old. It has a lot of different baked goods and a lot of different things to eat. Sweets, which sounds very nice. Um, something cold and something sweet sounds like just what I need right now after that ramen. But we're gonna browse around. It looks like they also sell little knickknacks and stuff like that. So we're gonna see what the Nishiki Market's about. Oh, look how cute it is! This one is much colder than the one we had in Nara. Was that Nara? Yeah. Yeah. It was like very hot, fresh off the press. This is cold. Oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. Look at your lip. Oh, it's so funny. I was not expecting there to be bean paste inside too, but it's really sweet and you can't really taste it. Mm. The strawberry is so fresh. Well, folks, this did not turn out as planned. We wanted to show so much more. We still had a shrine to check out. We still had a temple to check out. More food. Yes, more food. And unfortunately, we didn't get the chance to do those things. We have tried to film in Kyoto three different times. You know they say fortune favors the persistent? Not in this case. Actually, actually I think the quote is the fortune favors the bold. But we'll say the consistent. <laughs> um, we were not. We did not get fortune today. So on that note, we are going to wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new. If you want to follow along, we'll see you in a few more days.